Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev, and this is the Beginner's Guide to Spaceborn 2. And the game holds your hand for the first part of the game, getting it up to the point where it says Saving the Anka. That's where we're going to start our guide. And believe it or not, we're not going to do what the game says. The game says to go do freelance missions. Well, here's the problem with that. And this affects everything. As you raise levels, right? As our pilot level raises, the cost of ships raise. So if you've got a level 30 pilot, you're looking at millions upon millions of credits. I've got one right now that is in the 50s, a character, and they have every ship starts at about 80 or 90 million. Right now, I just checked them, they're a couple million. So, what are we going to do? Well, you see our soldier guy right there, right? After that last mission that you went on, which would have been the one with the cargo container where you went through and you got the documents, hopefully you got went through and checked all of those containers, because if you did, you would have gotten a few decent weapons, depending on how the RNG gods did for you. But then, once you turn that in and we're back here and we're freed and we're released, Let's see, we are in a system that is a level 30 to 40. That is not anywhere close to where we want to be. We want to find a system that is, there we go, level one, right? So to make it as easy as possible, so like one to nine, one to nine, how many planets? We got two planets. Four planets. We'll go there first, just because there's a higher chance. You can't land on all planets, but you can land on a bunch. So, hold on a second here. Landing For the retracted. sake of time, I'll probably edit out all of the various warping in between areas. But, this first video is going to take... What you should do first, the next video, by the time we get done with this, when I'm showing you, you'll be able to do it enough, and if you do it enough times, you will easily be able to buy yourself a nice ship to begin with. We're talking millions of credits. It's going to take a couple hours worth of work, but this is definitely by what everybody in the comments have said, and the thousands and thousands of views, what everybody says that's played the game, this is the best thing to do, and the best time to do it, so that's what we're going to do. So hold on, folks. And before we jet on out, real quick, when you're pulling up, the game tells you to go to the Stargate. You have to hit your H key, go up here, hit this, hit Stargate. Instead of doing all of that, hit Control H. To the jump point to start jump Once you've system. set your place on the big map, on the solar, or not the solar system, but the galaxy map, universe map. Control H, definitely game changer. I didn't think I'd use it, but now I use it constantly. All right, so let's see. Planet. Gas planet, no point. High radiation storms. Ice planet, that one we might be able to land on. They said there was four planets in this system. Oh, there it is. And that one it doesn't say what it is. Ah, oh, here we go. Terrestrial planet, blizzards on the surface. Whoa, 500. Okay, so if you can try and find a planet that has the station above it, one quick little note always make sure you're actually going where you want to. You see how this jumps around here? So always make sure it says what you want on the screen, then click. Don't just click, put it, hang it over and click because you might hit the wrong thing. All right. And anything in space is an octagon shape. Planets are triangles. Calibration module activated. Calibration complete. Hold on. Waiting for the thruster. Ooh, once you make it to the planet, you can see warp drive there. You got to wait till it cools. Warp Hit your B button. Online. And don't go to any cities. You want to go to a village at the most. You don't want to go to an outpost. 
Oh, let's go to the Aniri village. They will be our victims. Because we're going to do some privateering and go shoot some people. The surface aligned process is completed, waiting for the thruster input. This will be perfect. See, it's levels two to six. Oh, it's a gated community and everything, huh? Landing gear deployed. All right, so what do we got? Got all kinds of stuff here. So, to set this off, pick out one of these areas. Have your weapon ready. As soon as you kick this door in, people are going to get upset with you. And run in here. There's got to be something to interact with. Okay. Ooh. Now we just got to shoot people. Now, you want to make sure you filled all your ammo up at that station, or you're going to run out of ammo. <laughs> These people will have goodies for us, but we want to wait till we kill everybody. You can see everyone we kill at the top, our level, the level, that's the amount of people until you pacify it. And once you get a few levels under our belt, we can get a nice high-powered sniper rifle and then we don't have to, I don't know, I like standing down here in the shit. A lot of people though. For efficiency reasons. Oh. oh, another guy on top. Almost there. Uh oh. I know it's so hard not to go after the loot. This is for me. But the way, this is a nice, easy one. Sometimes the spaces are a quarter this size that you gotta work with. There we go, it should be pacified, last guy. Okay. Oh, let me pick up stuff. Ah, piece of crap. Oh, that was weird. Okay, and I will show you guys how to edit out everything that you don't want. Okay. So now that we kick that one open, basically work your way through here. And it's always a good idea as you're going through, stop. All right, so we got level two now, and which is what our character is. Still only level two, so we'll have to slowly work our way up here. 
See, that's a level three suit, so level two is better than what we were wearing, I think. A little bit. Railgun, shotgun, pistol, suit, 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 suit. Hold your S key and it will tell you if anything. Um, it's an easy way to go and check to see if it's worth putting it on. It compares to what's equipped. The S does. So. I just think, yeah, it's the same stuff each time. Sniper rifle. That looks better than what we had. But give me a sec here. I'm just gonna run around and grab everything on the outside edge. Then we'll go up and we'll do the other stuff. Those main haps, those will be interesting. But give me a sec here. Alright, so there we go. We've been through all of the outer ring. Now we just got this inner ring to do. Okay, so any place you see something like this you don't want, do that. Because eventually you will run out of space. So, you know. Anything under a thousand bucks isn't worth it, in my opinion. This is interesting, though, so we're going to keep working our way around here. Some some point, there should be something special in this area because there, sh there is a question mark. Like, there could be someone in there we can rescue or who knows what else. Take all of that. Because the whole point of this is, again, we're trying to make as much money as possible. Also curious. No, it doesn't seem like it really matters. Oh no, no, ah, that's garbage. Um, where anything is? Which ones that we're going through? But it's all good. Give me a second here again, and we'll, like I said, let me finish off. Because I didn't know if anything else would pop on these. Because some of these he did go through and put a whole bunch of new uh, villages and other such things in. So hold on. Whilst I clear these out. Shouldn't take me too long. Alright, so once we take off, we head back up here. And the whole reason to do this by a station, I'll show you guys here in a second. We gotta go up. Once you're up here, the easiest thing to do is just make sure you get your du dubious, dubious outpost. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input.
All right, here we are. Landing gear deployed. And again, there are a few things you want to keep in mind. First things first, hit services, go to components. Look at all the crap we picked up. So, things like the engine burner, power, cargo, drone, weapon systems, whoop, aim. Offensive pack isn't on this ship. Ooh, 71. That's good. So, stellar power. Oh, we can't. We've got too much. But you want to go through and do this, what I'm doing, which is, and it looks like that's the only real thing I can do, is I want to keep the stellar power. No weapons. Okay. Okay, so real quick. <sighs> Chips. See, three, uh, three million. Two. Oh, it's all messed up. That's not good. But the reason they are so cheap, as I was saying before, is... Our pilot level is only four, which is why we want to do it at this time. Yeah, it's all jacked up. It happens. Give me a second to clear the old inventory here. Alrighty, folks. So, back in the old ship. And you're probably wondering, well, how much money did you get off of that? So, in that first low world, we got... Almost three quarters of a million. So rinse and repeat five to ten times. Keep in mind, as you level your character, the gear that it spawns will go higher. Thus, all of your revenue will continue to go up and up and up. A couple of hours, you'll have millions, and then you can go buy yourself any kind of ship that you want. But the other reason I wanted you guys to do this by a planet, right? Okay, where's the planet? Oh, there it is. Is that literally you can go right back here and boom. You got another village. Go down. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. When you want to, uh, when your character gets a little higher, go to a different system. Keep making that money. Always keep an eye right here. When you're doing these ground missions for your soldier pilot pilot we'll discuss that in the next video when i've got enough money and we're going to go buy a ship and still be a low level character and have a ripping ship so keep your heads down your ships of doom and your privateering up and all see you again real damn soon